Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Rosia, and today I would like to show three diamond paintings that I completed um, recently. Well, one of them I just completed recently, and I wanted to wait till I finished um, at least three so I can, you know, be able to, to show in a video. Uh, they're the three out of the original five that I kitted up, so I have two more that I'm still working on, and I'll make sure to show those when I complete them. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so, so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> so the first painting I'm going to show is the 20 by 21 I had been working on. This is the first one I completed. It's the stack of books that has flowers on it. And I showed it in a previous video because this is from a Timu order. And any of these paintings that I show today, I'll make sure to put a link down below in case if it's a painting you might be interested in. And this one, they were round drills, and I love round drills. So this one, that's why I was able to work it up pretty quickly. Uh, but as I said, I put it aside because I wanted to make sure to show it with other paintings. The, my next two are a little bigger, so they took a little longer. And I really love how it came out. I love the books and the flowers. And I'm trying to order a frame for it because I wanted to put it on in, sorry, put it up on my, in my craft room. Because I also have a lot of books as well, so it's kind of fitting for it. It's also where I read. <laughs> and yeah, I really love the shine of the drills. And there were so many leftovers, so I have a lot saved up for this painting. <laughs> so there's, this is the first one. And as I said, it was a 20 by 20, and I'll make sure to put information down below. And the second one, it's a little bigger, so I got to move it back. <laughs> it's a field of sunflowers with the sky. This was my diamond dots painting. And this is the one I was working on during uh, the event for called For the Lovable Seasons. And I chose this for fall, I believe. And um, it was like a... a Com well not com what was it called like a drill along I believe that's what it was called and you would work every week you would just put updates of you know on um, whatever project you picked um, you keep completing and you would just give status updates there you go that's the best way I can wording um, just to kind of you know let them know hey the painting is still being worked on and this one did um, and it was a month long and I'm so glad that I finished this in a month because I and they were really um, they were so kind they said that you don't really have to finish the project as long as you're just updating and you know as long as they're saying status they know it's being worked on but I really really did want to complete it so luckily I was able to finish this in a month so I am so proud of myself because I did not expect that. <laughs> and this painting was also round drills. And I super surprised me when I was working on it. The sky surprised me. I was like, whoa, it's really, really detailed. And you can actually see the sunlight breaking through the clouds. And that super surprised me because um, when I finished, I finished around the middle. So I wasn't really paying attention on how it was looking because usually I don't. You know, I'm just putting the diamonds and it's until I complete and I actually look back. I'm like, that's when I know, oh my goodness, this picture is really, really beautiful. And I was really surprised by it. And it's really, and it looks real nice on camera. I'm actually seeing it right now, but in person, it looks just as nice. And this one, I am definitely going to hang it. I believe I might put it in my kitchen kind of little area because I don't know. It's just to me, it, it's it's the style of it i think fits better in that kind of environment i have no idea why <laughs> to me it makes sense so to each their own um because my next painting i am put gonna put in my living room but this one i don't know i feel like it belongs more like in a little kitcheny area i have no idea why but i really really like this one and this one was also round drills so that's how i was able to work on it a little bit more quickly because i'm really a lot faster on round excuse me and this painting was only 25 colors and i was really really expecting it to be uh, a lot lot more of well diamonds <laughs> and the size of this one was 36 by 27 centimeters that's just for the design but for the actual everything is 44 by 35 so i'm not too sure if i'll be able to find a frame but i did find that um, other diamond painters for bigger paintings they use kind of like wall hanging the little bars 
uh, they're usually, it's a barn on top, barn on the bottom. And it kind of stretches out a bit of whatever it is you're going to hang. And you can buy those bars separately just to have the painting hanging there. So I'm planning to do that with this one because it is a little bit bigger. I am probably going to have to seal it. And I'm waiting for, I ordered a, a sealant just so that, you know, the diamonds are secured. And, you know, in case there's dust and all that, it, it won't really kind of, because you can still see some of the glue does stay in between the drills, especially since it's round. So I just want to make sure that it doesn't, you know, kind of mess up, especially with dirt and all that. So that's why I kind of want to seal it and to also make sure that the diamonds stay put because I'm worried that I'm going <laughs> to accidentally bump into the painting and half of my diamonds are gone. So, but that's just me. <laughs> so this one, when I do get the sealant, I'll make sure to show what it looks like after I apply it. But this one is really, really nice and I love the shine on it. Oh my goodness, I just love that sky. So I'm going to put this aside real quick. And I'm going to get the last painting. And the last painting is the one that I've been putting up shorts of status updates of the painting. And luckily, I got to finish yesterday. And oh my goodness, this painting is so, so beautiful. In person, it's so, so shiny. And I believe the camera might be catching it. And I, I just love it. At first, I was really frustrated because there is a lot of green. There is a lot of green. And second, this is my first painting I ever did with square drills. I have never ever done square before. So I caught it a little frustrating to make sure that the di uh, the drills stayed in line. Because I saw that squares are a little bit more finicky to make sure that they're straight. I never knew that. I've, I've just seen other diamond painters do it. But I guess since they've been doing it for so many years... They've placed them just so perfectly, so I assumed, oh, okay, maybe diamonds aren't, th I'm sorry, squares aren't that different. No, not to me, they are. <laughs> so that's why this training took me a little, you know, took me a little bit. This took me probably two, two and a half months, and it's a smaller painting. It, it's not one of the big, big ones, but it's just, I have to get used to the drills. They're just so, so they feel so different to me when you're placing, when you're picking them up. It's so it's just different and that's why I kind of struggled a bit but I am so happy that I got to complete it because I did not want to leave a painting unfinished mostly because since I this one I had taken off the plastic and I actually had release papers on it and I was so worried that you know the papers might move or something might end up on it so that's why I really wanted to make sure that I completed it the only thing I did change and this is more for me is there are ABs in the pillows. I believe the camera might catch it. And there's some ABs in the green pillow. There's some in the teal and in the purple. But I noticed that the crown didn't. The crown just had the little pretty yellow with some white accent on it, but it didn't have ABs, which I thought was kind of funny because you know, it's a crown and it should be shiny. <laughs> so I actually got the ABs from, believe it might have been from I don't own any like I didn't have any that I had on the side or anything these are actually the first square drills I'm gonna have left over but I didn't have any ABs saved I've never done that before so I decided just to reuse the same ABs from the painting and I actually used let me see I believe it was these yes I actually used the ABs from this pillow because there were a lot left and they look a little bit more white than the other ABs. The green ones looked really green. The teal looked teal, sorry. And the red down here are really red. So I figured, yeah, let me accent with these. And so if you actually look at the crown, let me see if I can get a little closer. They have some ABs on it. Can you see that? The I put them to accent, accent it and to give the little crown some shine because it's crown. It should be shiny. That's just me. So any of where the ABs are, that was a different color. And I pretty much kind of eyeballed it. And I just followed the path of that one color. It was like a white color. I believe it's this color. And I kind of imagined what it would look like with the ABs. So I just put the ABs instead of the original color. And voila, it worked out to me. I believe it worked out perfectly. And I love how the little crown looks. So I'm so happy that I decided to do that. That was just for my taste because as I said, I wanted the crown to have some shine on it. And the whole painting is just really, I really love these drills. And this is a Diamond Art Club painting. Sorry, I didn't say that. And 
I've never done a diamond art club, but I fell in love when I finished it that I ordered a whole bunch of them. <laughs> so I'm having a whole bunch of paintings coming in and I'll make sure to show them in videos in the future. But I did, I did, even though I was a little frustrated, I did love the painting. So I have no problems with it. And the name of this painting is the um, Princess and the Pea Kitty. And as I said, I've been showing this one for a couple of weeks, but I'm so glad that I'm able to show it completed. And it is a 13 by 13 inch or 33 by 33 centimeter. And this one, I'm also going to hang it. I'm going to put it in my living room. It's a little bigger, so I'm not going to be able to find a frame that's kind of affordable. So I'm just going to do a wall hanging for this one. And I'm going to seal it as well once I get to seal it. So I can hang it in my living room because I really, really love this image. And I am so excited how it came out. And I love the shine on it. So that's all I wanted to show today. I just really, really wanted to make sure to show some completed paintings of mine. Sorry, I'm trying to find the other painting. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is show that I have been currently working on them. It's just they do take me a while. And I do know that the more that I work on, the little faster that I'll get. I mean, that's true for anything, especially when, you know, you're making anything by hand. Practice makes perfect, as the saying goes. <laughs> So again, if you're a turning viewer, thank you so, so much for coming back. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, I just ask if you can just do the usual. If you can like and subscribe, I really appreciate that as well. And again, thank you for your time and have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you.